All right, we're going to try this uh, live gameplay again. And uh, this is my very first flight with the P-38L. In fact, I forgot to put ordnance on it, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, I, you can tell I just got back from vacation, right? Like, I'm going to have to get used to everything again. Uh, I guess we will pull this garrison and then... Um, go for their airbase. I really wish I had ordnance. Uh, I do like to carry bombs on my heavy fighters. Um, I don't usually go for full ordnance setups, although I do understand clearly the um, advantages of uh, that in this particular uh, heavy. So. Oh, that's delightful. Yeah. Alright. I like the guns already. have gas operated action on them right now but I may switch to long barrels and on a map like this obviously we're just gonna we're gonna work the air bases first of all come on I'll be 17 you're letting me down buddy Well, there's four over there. All right, let's uh, let's let that crowd thin out. Those are probably all bots. Yeah, the P40. So one of them may be the Spitfire. We'll see about that. Just go ahead and pass him by. Of course, it didn't do anything. I'm not sure where that came from, but... I'll just boost away from this guy. There's 60 points right back again. Yeah, I don't quite have the maneuverability to pull that off. But we'll just loop right back over. And stick on this one. God, these guns just delete things, don't they? Alright, well. Certainly a very comfortable aircraft to fly, and the maneuverability is not bad. U.S. heavies have always got you know, a little, little less uh, struggle on the stick. They, um... All right, let's see. Let's, so let's see versus P-40N, which is on sale right now. because I want to go capture this base. Let's see if we can get some bots to help with that. Oh! Spitfire has come to play. Alright, well we dragged him up. close. I'm just going to keep in the dive. Again, we're going to we want to be a thousand meters out at least. None of our health regen there, which it should have. So, interesting. 
we'll uh, we'll see how that uh, pans out. But that was not exactly the way it should have gone. We're gonna see if we can clear out this one. We need to hang on to this airbase for sure. Is Franco defending here? All right, let's go cap this zone then. Let's round it. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> Our bot's got the other air base. Fantastic. Let's go see if we can assist our bomber here. I think we can clear him. Yeah, I think with these, I'm going to want the long barrels. Um, all things considered. We're at a decent lead right now. Yeah, poor Franco. I don't, I'm not sure this is the best strategy for him. So we're going to see if we can clear his tail. He's obviously in a little bit of trouble here. Almost a squall line here. Squall line out. some speed. This is what we really want to do. Yeah, the long barrels would really be helpful right here. Fortunately, he does not see me coming. And that's one more. Well, let's go ahead and cap this zone. Man. Guns did not want to zero in on that one, did they? Register problems maybe with the server. ADAs sometimes have that issue. Uh, I'm getting sloppy here. Alright, there's that. And that. See, yeah, it's just these two bots left. The enemy is almost defeated. Make a final push. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that one, Franco. I'm more worried about uh, the last remaining bot. Uh, not that it matters. Okay, very first battle in the P-38L. So let's go back to Hangar and talk a little bit about um, thoughts and changes here and how I want to re-gear it maybe. Uh, but anyway, uh, 
Winged Legend, Conquer, Flying Paladin, Flying Fighter. I didn't destroy enough um, bombers on that one. So only a grade three there. Probably could have. Could have done a little better job in that category, but anyway, uh, fun. I like that it's not too stiff at the controls like some of the um, German heavies can be. You know, the 262 line can be frustrating at times, and I'm interested to see that in comparison with the BBP 203, which I'll be flying in a little bit here, um, just to see where it's at. Um, but uh, anyway, oh, yeah. Got a ratings increase there. 700 capture points, 18 targets destroyed 11 of those aircraft seven of them uh, 4,000 damage crits all right good and we captured six sectors so let's you know we were on the offensive which is why we didn't didn't get that and uh, Yang did a good job uh, a couple of sectors captured a lot of personal points uh, ground damage and everything else and managed to take me down one time I'm really surprised I didn't get the re the boost on uh, the HP kind of passive regen going. It, it felt like there was enough time there. I would need to go back and watch the replay to see kind of how that might have, um, I might have miscalculated that in some way. But uh, anyway, uh, right now I've got the boost on here. Uh, the, the crew speed is phenomenal at 530, especially at tier six. That's, you know, they're tier 10 aircraft that <laughs> barely at 500 so you know that's fine i've got a the stock experimental collimator on here um for a little bit of extra accuracy and then i did the gas operated but let's go ahead and swap that out um for the long barrels instead for now um and we'll play this a couple of times to see kind of how it feels um and then we'll go from there i don't want to lock anything in yet until i'm at that point and this is going to be very easy to specialize. I mean, that's 24 sectors, 108 aircraft. That'll be in no time. So I'm not going to waste tokens on that. But um, but interesting. Good first flight. Uh, and I'll have to work on getting a... I like getting a good ground target marker on mine as well. So I'll have to work on that. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, very, Like I said, a little more nimble uh, than I think I was anticipating. And uh, I do need to put the ordinance on it. I was, I'm surprised it didn't have the units on there to begin with, uh, which is interesting. You know, we'll go ahead and buy the rockets. And maybe I'll fly at one time with rockets and bombs both. Um, I mean, you're not losing that much. You're mostly losing cruise speed. Uh, so 20 and 25 on the rockets and 16 and 20 on the bombs. I mean, generally speaking, I would fly it without the rockets. I would do this. And, and one of the reasons for that is this. The rockets are going to do damage, but most of the time, like in this case, um, the rockets are... Here you go. Let me show you the reload. Uh, so 180 seconds on the bomb, uh, two bombs, but uh, also 180 on the rockets. Right? Uh, more than that, 240. So four minutes on the rockets. Uh, that's crazy. So in an average battle, you know, if you throw the rockets immediately, most of the most battles in this game, you know, for me at least, tend to be seven or eight minutes long. Sorry, rehydrating. Uh, seven or eight minutes long. So, you know, if you use them on the very first sector you get into, um, you, you can use them one more time in the match. Um, if you don't use them on the very first sector you're in, you're going to use them once the entire match. I'm not sure that's worth it. Um, you know, maybe if it's a mining plant game and you're desperate for that. Um, but, I, you know, I'd ra I think I'd rather have the extra speed um, and, uh, you know, knock down, especially as a heavy fighter, knock down a bomber over the zone and, and not have to deal with it. Um, but the bombs I would keep, uh, you know, I normally do. The other thing with rockets is range-wise, you really have to dive down low to utilize them. You know, the bombs you can use from up high and uh, not sacrifice you know, your altitude and, and still put them to good use. So that's, you know, generally speaking, if a heavy has bombs, I will carry the bombs, but I will not carry uh, the rockets. Um, you know, just for example, um, yep, it's waiting for me. Um, so on the Dornier, of course, I do with bombs, obviously. Um, and then um, on my P82, actually, you'll see here, I don't have anything on it right now, but generally speaking, I run it with bombs as well for the same reason. Um, 
just you know that little bit of extra oomph to capture a zone or whatever else but i don't usually run both i mean just the speed hit is so awful um you know especially at tier eight when you're looking at, at these heavies um, i think once it's specialized you know you can put that in there but uh, obviously with neither of these specialized it, it just doesn't seem worth it um, the speed seems more apropos, but uh, but I know other people fly it differently. And again, I know you know with all the ground ordnance on the uh, this one this one does not have bombs. Yeah, with all the ground ordnance uh, available on um, the P38L, you know the ability to flip zones um, is certainly helpful and useful, right? Um, so I may I'm going to fly it all all different ways. I'm going to at least have bombs on it, but I'll try the rockets as well. Um, and same with this one you can see actually I, I keep the this one the mosquito has this bombs in internal bay so it doesn't lose any speed right um but if you put the rockets on pretty pretty serious hit uh, especially for unspecialized you know again that may change i don't play this one much but um but yeah that may change i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with this for now i'm gonna play a few more games with just the bombs and then i'll try it with the rockets as well and see but uh definitely a fun plane um you know, just as maneuverable as this one is, just as twisty and turny, which is nice. Um, 636. So this is a nice maximum optimal speed as well, uh, which is rather, rather good. 609. Yeah, that's part. Of, that's, I was thinking that was part of the problem with the, the Mosquito here is it's, this is a low maximum optimal speed and you don't have access to a G-suit at tier 6, but... Anyway, fun plane. I will take it out some more. Um, I decided to go ahead and pick it up essentially for one reason, and that is that um, while the P-51 still feels fairly broken at Tier 8, um, it's still such a game changer in the right pilot's hands. You know, I, I think the, the nerfs to it um, brought down the skill floor on it, um, and so, you know, I don't I've seen pilots do 5,000 personal points in it, whereas it felt like every pilot could get 10,000 personal points every match in the P-51 P P um, before the nerf. And then with the nerf, it seems to have cut that skill floor down. Um, but that wasn't really the issue <laughs> with the P-61. The issue with the P-61 was the skill ceiling. Um, and that doesn't seem to have changed a whole lot uh, with the nerfs. So, you know, it, and the same sort of thing happened when they... You know the last nerf to the tier 10 bombers you know it, it made them harder to use but that didn't affect the top pilots at all the top pilots still you know can just zoom around the map blowing sectors off left and right uh in tier 10 bombers so the nerf uh was not aimed correctly right it was aimed at the wrong wrong characteristics the wrong wrong issues and i think that was true for the p61 as well anyway i said i'll say the p61 still changes the meta at tier 8 it still messes with the game at tier 8 um, but at tier six, the P-38L does not mess with the game dynamics. You know, the 410 is still strong. Um, the P-51A is still strong, right? There's, there's still a lot of planes at tier six, uh, that can contribute well to matches. Um, and, um, you know, I've been playing a good bit at tier six, uh, specializing some of my favorite aircraft are at tier six. So I spent a lot of time here, right? The, the Spit 5 is not negated. You know, it's not, uh, it's not like any of these other planes are no longer worth flying because P-38L is there in a match, right? Now, if you're in another heavy, there might be an issue. You know, you might want to stick to the other side of the map or something or plan your approach carefully. So I get that. But, you know, but in terms of the overall match and, and plane choice, um, the P-61 is not, you know, significantly impacting the meta there. But at Tier 8, the P-61 does. You know, you really have to be aware of its presence in the game it's so um it, you know it's in so many matches and it's so capable of doing so many different things it's really a pain in the butt still um even though it's not as strong as it, as it was before the nerfs so um so anyway that's why i went in and picked up this one again because while it's strong i don't feel like it's um uh, you know, a game changer in the way the P61 is, or the, or the curve first for that matter. Um, and my solution to the curve first, I'm, I'm still kicking around in my head because I want it, but I, I don't want it because of where it's at in the power scheme of things. But um, I don't have a B29C either. So those are the three that I've kind of just said, you know, I'm not buying these three planes. Uh, I probably won't pick up the P40N either. Um, I have other P40s at tier five that I enjoy and, um, you know, I'm not working on a Chinese pilot. I don't have a great Chinese pilot anyway. 
Um, so that one I'll probably pass on. But I am excited to try out the BVP. And uh, next video we do will be on that one. But for now, my first flight, the P-30DL, obviously this is an excellent aircraft. Had a lot of fun with it. Um, I'll play around with it in some different configurations. And we'll come back to it again, maybe later, uh, maybe next week, because I want to do the BVP-203 later this week. Um, and kind of first impressions on it. But, um, but we'll come back to this one for sure. That was a lot of fun. I uh, hope you guys are having a great week. Good luck in your ratings. Um, I'm just trying to get up in this... Uh, top 500 because I would like that um, you know stock experimental guns and the gold, gold would be nice too so um, we'll see where that goes aircraft grade top 3, alright yeah so I'll see if I can uh, squeeze a couple more matches in to get uh, get inside the top 500 there uh, and I'll probably try and do it for all three periods, why not uh, I have until the morning, after all. So anyway, hope you guys have a great night. Hope you're doing well uh, this weekend, and I hope the period one ratings are going well for you, and I will catch you again later this week.